Good evening, uh, everyone. This open meeting of the Arlington Finance Committee is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's order of March 12, 2020, due to the outbreak of the COVID virus. In order to, trans to mitigate the transmission of the virus, we've been advised by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirements of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of the public, bod of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. This order you can find posted with the agenda materials for the meeting uh, on the town uh, website. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comment only in writing by email to uh, tbradley at town.arlington.ma.us. This meeting is convening by video conference on the Zoom app as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join and comment. Please note that the meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. According, accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials have been provided members that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public's encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. The chair will introduce each speaker on the agenda after they conclude their remarks. The chair invites members to provide any comments, questions, or motions. Please hold uh, until you are recognized and your name is called. Further, uh, please remember to mute your phone or your computer when you're not speaking, and please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Due to the size of my laptop screen, I may not be able to see all the members at once. If someone raised, has raised their hand and I haven't noticed, I hereby request that Tara Bradley or Annie LaCourt Please bring this to my attention. So now I will confirm that um, all the meters members are um, present. So if you will um, uh, answer in the affirmative when I call your name, Grant Gibeon, Shane Blundell. Here. John Ellis. Nakaya Healy. Yes. Oh, here. Brian, Brian Beck. Here. Arif Padaria. Sophie Migliazzo. Oh, Arif said he wasn't going to be here. Sophie, and so did Grant, by the way. Uh, Sophie Migliazzo. Here. Jonathan Wallach. Shailene Crawford. Daryl Harmer. Here. Andy LaCourt. Here. Alan Jones. Here. George Koser. Here. Bill Keller. Here. Al Tassi. Here. Wanda Nascimento. Here. Christine Deschler. Here. Dean Carmen. Dean, are you here? You're here, right? Yeah, did you not hear me? I'm here. Uh, no. Dean Carmen, it looks like it's trying to speak. He's here. I'll, I'll mark him present. David McKenna? Here, yes. Thank you, David. And Tara, you're here. Yeah? Okay. So we have a quorum. Um, uh, let me, I wanna make some comments here. Um, this is the time that I should normally ask to uh, pass the salt. Um, having to eat my words. So um, last week, at the last meeting, rather, uh, Al Tosti asked about our future schedule. Uh, I glibly responded that we could end by March 30th, but I'm concerned that that's not the case. So Grant uh, Gibeon is not going to be here tonight, and uh, so that means that we have to do the water and sewer on Monday or later. <clears throat> um, but remember, we have the school budget on Monday night, and tonight we'll, we will address Article 25 in the insurance budget. And if, if Brian Beck is here and ready, We'll also do the parking district uh, commission fund, uh, <clears throat> which I think we, we didn't do when we did the parking budget. Then we also have to do the water, water bodies, the historic district commission. We got a response on that. I think we're getting a response on the committee on disability. We're 
Tara has been um, sending a flurry of emails back and forth on this. Uh, there are some select board issues that we have to deal with. The town managed uh, any issues to wrap up with the town manager. Um, <clears throat> and of course, the, the water and sewer budget and the school budget. And then in addition, um, I'd like to see us <clears throat> receive some reports from our special working groups, including Altasi's operation research, which is um, going to be covering the um, DPW uh, uh, trash, <clears throat> trash collection and recycling uh, budget, <clears throat> excuse me, or operation. Uh, Christine uh, hopefully has a policy, uh, her policy group has a, a manual that has been worked on for quite some time. And it's, um, I, I mean, I've seen it, it's very impressive. <clears throat> and then a, an update perhaps on the IT uh, working group. And, and uh, <clears throat> if, if it sounds like I, I have things under control here, that's not really true because all of this was derived from an excellent summary that uh, Tara prepared while I was struggling to figure out what was going on, this email arrived. So <clears throat> um, we also have to do the uh, Warren article on domestic partnerships, the Warren article on rodenticides. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the select boards trying to change the uh, budgeting schedule uh, and they're not going to be able to come until after March uh, 30th. So um, probably I think we should be thinking about using at least um, doing a meeting at least on the 4-4 four, four, four and 4-6. Four, uh, Tara pointed out <coughs> that um, in 2021, we met for 19 regular meetings uh, right up through 4-14. And um, this year, if we meet even through um, a couple of meetings in April, we'll, we'll, we'll still have fewer meetings than last year. For what, I mean, that's a, just a piece of information for whatever it's worth. So, so in any event, please reserve uh, April 4th and April 6th. And we will also, uh, as Al pointed out, need to review the budgets after we see the uh, House Ways and Means Committee report, uh, hopefully on the 14th of April. So um, is that, um, anybody have any questions on that? Thoughts? None, okay, good. So then I think, um, I see that we have Julie Brazil and uh, Greg Dennis here, a welcome. Thank you very much for, for coming. Um, <clears throat> so let's um, address the minutes. Tara, do you have the, um, do you have two sets of minutes? Yes. Okay. Um, I am too working off a laptop today unexpectedly, so bear with me just a minute here. Let's see. Okay. Here are the minutes for 314. Whoops, wrong one. Here they are. I have not received comments um, from anyone except for you, Charlie, saying that they looked fine. So oh, I don't know if anyone else has had a chance to read these. They've been up on the uh, SharePoint site for a day or two, um, but I found them uh, accurate. So are there any questions on the minutes? A uh, motion to accept the minutes is in order. So moved. Moved. Second. Second. moved and seconded, moved and seconded. Okay, so this is what's the this is the minutes of three fourteen, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll move to a vote. Grant's not here. Shane. Yes. Uh, is John Ellis here yet? No. Micaiah Healy. Micaiah. Yes, approved. Thank you, Brian. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Uh, Arif is not here. Sophie. Yes. Jonathan Wallach is not here. Uh, Shailene Crawford is not here. Uh, Daryl Harmer. Yes. Annie LaCourt. Yes. Alan Jones. Yes. George Koser. Yes. Bill Keller. Uh, yes. Al Tosti. Yes. Wanda Nascimento. Yes. Christine Deschler. Yes. Dean Carmen. Yes. David McKenna, thank you very much. The minutes yes. 314 are approved. Um, 
And then we have the minutes for 323. Is that uh, right? Three, 316. I'm sorry, 316. Yeah, today's 323. What am I saying? Um, I don't know why they're not resizing. This is this is a new laptop and a new experience. So here we go. I don't know why they're just taking up half the screen, but this is unfortunately as big as I can get them. Okay. Um, any comments on the minutes for 316? I, I reviewed them. I didn't find any uh, any difficulties with them. So um, motion is in order if there are no comments or questions on the minutes of 316. So moved. So we'll go to a vote. Um, Shane Blundell. Yes. Micaiah Healy. Uh, Makaya Healy. Maybe we'll skip Makaya. Yeah. Right, Beck. Sorry. Yes. Okay, we got Makaya. Um, Sophie Migliazzo. Yes. Jonathan Wallach's not here. Um, Shailene Co uh, Prokris isn't here. Daryl Harmer. Yes. Annie LaCourt. Yes. Alan Jones. Yes. George Koser. Yes. Bill Keller. Uh, yes. Al Tosti. Yes. Juan de Nascimento. Yes. Christine Deschler. Yes. Ian Carmen. Yes. And David McKenna. I'm counting you, David. Um, thank you. So uh, those minutes are now behind us. Um, I think the only the minutes, the next ones that we'll see will be the minutes from uh, last Monday. So the next item on the agenda is uh, Warren article number 25, early voting. And we have with us tonight, town clerk, Julie Brazil, and the uh, chair of the election Moder modernization committee, uh, Greg Dennis. So uh, let, uh, me, let me, somebody have the no comment? Okay, so let me turn the floor over to um, who should, uh, Greg, or who wants to speak? Um, oh, Julie, is it okay if I just lead sure. off? And, sure. Okay. Um, uh, thank you uh, to the chair and to this committee uh, for providing us this opportunity to present this warrant article to you. Again, this is warrant article number 25. It's a home rule article. Um, that would provide Arlington voters with early voting options for town elections. Arlington voters currently have the ability to vote early for state and federal general elections only, not for town elections. And the Election Modernization Committee has been interested in some time in making available early voting options for town elections as well. When we first took a look at this three years ago, oh, nearly three years ago, uh, we had seen that some communities had attempted this, uh, but their efforts ultimately failed in the legislature. The legislature wasn't as interested in providing expanded early voting at that time. Uh, but things seem to have shifted in the state houses a lot more interest in early voting. There's bills that have passed would afford some communities with the ability to offer early voting. And I think um, the whole pandemic era uh, and the um, expanded options for more, flex more flexible voting options that were available during this time. Uh, people seem to have really appreciated that and want to make some of those kinds of things permanent. So we think the ground has shifted in our favor such that if we were to forward this, we would have forward this to the legislature, we would have a good chance of passage. Um, and even if it does not, it's still a statement that the town believes that um, municipalities ought to have the ability to vote early. The parameters of the law uh, in terms of the deadlines and things like that are very similar to what's already in effect for state elections. And the hours uh, for early voting are largely within the existing hours of the town clerk's office and the volume of early voters isn't going to be tremendously high. So, um, and Julie can speak to this, but we believe that the clerk, existing clerk staff uh, will largely be able to accommodate the early voting request to have a 
minimal uh, financial impact. And that about summarizes it. Julie, did you want to add anything? Uh, no, I think um, I think that's a, an excellent summary. Um, and yes, I mean, I think we we haven't seen uh, huge numbers in the communities that have done it. A few communities, uh, you know, similar to Arlington, did it um, during the pandemic um, because their elections were later, and that ability was restored. Uh, it wasn't really a practical option for Arlington last uh, last year in 2021. Um, but yeah, turnout's very low. And so um, my, certainly my plan would be to ease into it gently, um, make it a, available as an option to um, take the pressure off of uh, voters who have uh, tricky schedules. And, um, and uh, you know, if it seems to be catching on, ramp up very slowly um, having election workers come in uh, in order to, uh, so like a team of two uh, just to assist. So um, if it, if it starts to catch on, uh, we'll see it coming uh, sort of as a team and we can, uh, we can build it into the budgets better. But at this point, I couldn't begin to guess uh, because we don't know what the rules um, will change. Um, and uh, you know, this is a minimal package um, and we don't know. That's really all we know is, is uh, this minimum seems like a good idea if we can get it.